Hello and welcome to your What You Need to Know Today reading. So let's go ahead and see what messages your angels and your spirit guides have for you today. Hope you're having a great weekend so far and you're staying safe and keeping well. Alright, let's have a look at your messages for today. Distant Horizons. This is all about someone far away. Perhaps you are planning on going somewhere far away. Distant Horizons is all about different cultures, different lands, far away, like overseas, interstate, different cultures. You could be planning a holiday or someone could be planning to come and see you, spend some time with you. Wow, that's crazy. You've got the same meaning twice exactly the same meaning that's insane but you know this could also be saying two trips okay one to one place or one and one to another place like kind of hopping between different destinations you could even be saying that two different people are planning to come and see you or you know i need to clarify and tell you exactly why this showed up twice it could even just be your angels and guides confirming 100 percent this person is coming towards you it could even be two different people from different places you know that are at a distance from you and they're both considering coming towards you and they're both thinking of you very romantic or perhaps in a month's time because the moon is all about romance moonlit um uh, evenings you know that that beautiful um afternoon slash evening dusk type vibe where where everything's misty romantic candlelit dinners um, and you just have romantic feelings for somebody the moon is also a time card indicating perhaps monthly cycles perhaps you and your person visit each other monthly let's keep going and see okay tweets a lot of chitter chatter okay this is a communication between you and someone that you have feelings for the birds is a, a card of communication between lovers where you and someone that you really care about are communicating generally the birds is all about the voice also that it's actual phone calls or facetiming as opposed to texting however it it's not a, a sort of closed door to communicating via text it's mainly about getting your your ideology out there so that you and your lover can communicate now um you can see there's more than just a couple here there's four birds so it could be you and you know other people as well communicating so let's um go ahead and clarify with the tarot and see what else we've got now i'm opening up options in my services page on my website which you can find in the description box below uh, for mini readings again if you are interested in a mini reading as opposed to a full service reading you can find my details in the description box below and that is where you're going to see my website address now this card is the moon and it fell directly on the moon so I'm going to keep this together because it just seems that that's exactly where it belongs now the moon in the tarot is a little bit different from the moon in the Lenormand the moon in the tarot is a sign of Pisces it's a sign of intuition it's a sign of anxieties sleepless nights especially if something like the nine of swords or um, something along those lines um, comes out as well now the moon is also a card of something that is hidden from you or something that is secret so we'll continue going along and seeing what pans out 
Next up, we have a decision with two of swords. Two of swords is all about needing to cut something out in order to keep going forward. So we have a decision. You can see the moon, the sickle moon in the background, kind of like an eclipse. The moon in um, tarot is talking about intuition. So we've got intuition here and we've also got it here. Now we've got some water as well indicating emotions and feelings slight anxieties now this card is the moon and libra energies now libra is all about balancing out much like the justice card and keeping things fair and unbiased okay in order to make this decision you can see that she's crossing her heart here meaning she doesn't want to make a decision based on her feelings she's got her blindfold on so she doesn't um, use her bias okay and she's facing away from the water indicating she's trying to be as unemotional as she can in regards to this important decision that needs truth and justice in order to make that now the decision is about cutting something out so there is a decision that has to do with something or someone far away could even be to do with travel at a distance that needs to make, be made next up we have a page of wands so this is um, looking more along the lines of cutting someone out or a situation out like for instance if I was looking to move and I had two different destinations at a distance that I was to choose from and one had an emotional tie to it and another one had a fun social circle it looks like I would be choosing the fun social circle because page of wands is fun, lively and exciting. Something that um, opens the door to having some fun. Whereas the two of swords is a difficult decision that I need to make and it's got emotional ties to it. Like for instance, my hometown where I grew up or I had a relationship in that town and I'm making a decision to not go back. That is why the Two of Swords is showing up here. But the Page of Wands is showing... Oh, actually, look at that. I just discovered something. There are two cards here. How interesting is that? And I did not even realize. So I'm going to open that up because they go together very very nicely and that tells me even more about this destination so page of wands fun lively exciting invitations out you know it could even be one special person that you're very excited about that is corresponding with you tweets between lovers tweets between lovers the eight of wands is a very good card it's saying that there is a lot of energy and a lot of excitement and information that is flying towards you and from you connecting you to this new place so it looks like you have either a decision between one and another whether it's a person here and there or it's a destination that you're considering now the moon with the moon how interesting is that i'm going to go ahead and clarify so nine of pentacles is independence it's also a wonderful business and financial card the nine of pentacles is all about working independently for yourself it could open up an independent portal for you in regards to work or business your career okay you may be feeling slightly anxious because there's still some more information and data that you have to collect in order to make this decision now the birds we have chariot very exciting time for you because the chariot sign of cancer the chariot is all about something moving forward and progressing very very um, quickly much like 
eight of wands tweets lots of chitter chatter a lot of communication and you'll notice the number three and you'll notice one two equals three so it's really tying you up here very very nicely three and two number three is all about decisions in regards to your future future visions um, also celebrations number two is all about choices and soulmates so it looks like you're making a decision to be with someone that you've got a very strong spiritual and emotional connection with maybe in a month's time but doesn't have to be a slight anxiety because there's still hidden aspects of this situation however you might be considering your career and your work now for some of you this could be vice versa with you and someone around you the birds lots of communication facetiming phone calls or texts emails okay lots of energy lots of exciting energy being put forth the chariot it's all about also travel but progress forward so that we can move forward in regards to this exciting time now let's go ahead and grab the gypsy oracle and see what else we've got now if you like this reading please do click like helps my channel to get out there in the algorithm of youtube and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i'd love to have you on the dark light or in a part of the dark light family and consider my membership if you want to see my videos before anybody else gets to see it cheerfulness also with my membership you get discounted personal readings cheerfulness is all about a celebration happy times excitement for some of you it could be talking about a third party okay and kind of like needing to make that decision we have something new celebrating something new it could even be a small intimate setting of a celebration or an event like a birthday but it's an intimate gathering only the closest nearest and dearest uh, it could also be celebrating a new phase in life also for some of you a baby shower celebrating a pregnancy now we've got some melancholy okay so this has an undertone of sadness involved some kind of sadness and i feel that it is this leaving something behind in order to move forward towards something else that's very very exciting for you one more card house new stability some of you could be relocating some of you could have someone that's coming towards you that's going through a difficult time however we're celebrating this person in our life this new phase in our life if it's not a new person it could very well be something to do with career okay leaving something behind in order to pursue a new career okay a lot of exciting um, messages between you and somebody else could be new work colleagues a prospective new employer or even um, friends family okay so feeling a bit sad but we're very happy that we're stabilizing in this new situation all right let me know how this resonates and what this means to you i'm excited for you it looks like a wonderful new beginning as always i send you love peace and light bye for now